Welcome back to Footballology. So today I want to talk to you guys about the New England Patriots wide receiving core and what they could possibly look like moving forward, or at least in my personal opinion. Now when it comes to the New England Patriots, I believe in everything Bill Belichick does. He does everything for a purpose and with a reason. And so once he makes a move or a transaction of that sort, he knows what he's doing or he at least knows what he has on his roster. So when it comes to New England Patriots and transactions, I really kind of stay away from them. But in this case, in this scenario, I kind of want to kind of talk about them because it's really interesting where they're moving forward to, right? So they have Nikhil Harry, who everyone's projecting to be the number one guy right now, which if he stays healthy, he can be a solid number one receiver. I do believe that he looked really good coming out of Arizona State. He was a guy that a lot of people projected in the first round or at least second round, and he went there. And so he had an opportunity. He hasn't had an opportunity to be that guy because he's been injury. But once he gets that opportunity, I think that he can flourish really well in that number one role, or at least having that big body receiver on the outside. And that's something New England has been searching for up and down here and there because i mean outside of randy moss they've really never had that big guy or that big body guy on the outside they tried to do it with josh gordon and that kind of fell through uh muhammad sanu i don't think he was ever supposed to be that guy i think he was just supposed to be a body i don't think sanu has ever been that guy in his career but when to kill harry he has the opportunity to really fill that void fill that role and really take that receiving core to the next level so with them letting go of Mohamed Sanu, it really kind of opened up the roster and at least opened up my mind to what was going to happen, right? So we know we got Julian Edelman, and I don't see Julian Edelman going anywhere time soon, which is the way this offseason is going. It could be possible. They could try to move him. And the reason why I say that, which they probably won't, I'm just saying hypothetics, is Gunner, right? So I just watched some stuff on Gunner and read some stuff up on Gunner and how he has developed his game from last year up into this year. And he's trying to become that slot role guy. And you know, and we know this for a fact, when it comes to New England Patriots, they, they have that, that slot guy. That's I think that's the bread and butter of their offense more or less than it is having a tight end or even a running game. That slot guy makes that offense roll. So I think that's one reason why they don't let go of Julian Edelman just yet, just because it, they don't have a guy that can completely 100% fill that role. But if they were, Gunnar Olaski has been a guy that's shown up and shown signs that he could possibly fill that void which would then be interesting at that point because then they'd be talking about overhauling this whole offense at that point. But I don't see it happening. So Jewel is cool. So we got Nikhil Harry, we got Julian Edelman, and then it becomes that like number two slash, you know, outside other outside receiver guy. So Jacoby Myers is a guy that I was really looking at hardcore as far as being that other guy, the other big body guy on the opposite side of uh, Nikhil Harry. But then they start talking about Bird and how Bird has developed his game and how he could possibly be thrust into that role that deep ball role where Philip Dorsett was in last year because I think the Patriots this year are going to try to make a bigger emphasis on big plays down the field that's not been their MO for the last couple of seasons they've been trying to play tight to the vest deep uh, offense you know they put together a 12 13 drive 13 play drive and just kind of dink and dunk you all the way down the field until they get to the end zone boom bam touchdown right and that's just been the Tate Patriots MO for the last couple of seasons so I'm wondering now with a guy like Bird, will Bird be that third slash, you know, other outside receiver that really pushes that safety up the field that kind of opens up the middle of the field for their tight ends, which they have some pretty decent tight ends this year, or opens up the middle of the field for the run game, take those safeties off the take the safeties off the line of scrimmage and pit them back on top, right? Like make them safeties play honest. And that's really important. And I think that the Patriots are really trying to develop that part of their offense, trying to make those safeties stay honest and not say, okay, we can just play down in the box because we know you're not going to go over our head. But now if you got a guy like Bird out there, okay, maybe you go over our head or even the kill Harry start taking the top off the offense then or take the top off the defense. And that would, you know, make those safeties play honest as well. So they have a lot of options right now currently on their roster, and they have a lot of variety as well, which I love. I love having that variety of wide receivers because you don't want all the same two receivers doing the same thing. Like you want a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and they got a little bit of everything. But what I really want to talk about, because all these trades that are going down right now, right? So we've seen Jacksonville just recently we traded Ronnie Harrison to the Browns for a fifth round pick. So that tells me that the, the Jags are cleaning house, right? They're trying to get out the old regime's crap. When I, I put it in my other video. You guys have seen it. Uh, they're trying to get out the old regime's crap. Like, they're like, okay, you know, go, 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 go. We're going to bring in our guys. Well, with the Jags taking LaVisca Chenault in the second round, now you have a guy named D.D. Westbrook who I feel like is still a viable wide receiver who could possibly a num be a number one on the right team in the right situation. But he could possibly be a number one or at least a 1B 
if you're the Patriots, would you go out and get D.D. Westbrook? Because, like, somebody, I was just on Twitter and was scrolling and I was talking to someone, and he brought up D.D. Westbrook being traded next. And I'm like, well, the Patriots just let go of Sanu. If you go get a guy like D.D. Westbrook, would that be a good move for the Patriots? I personally could see that being a decent move. Now, originally, when I was thinking about when they were let go of Sanu yesterday, I was thinking to myself, what about going to get A.J. Green, right? I don't know if A.J. Green is going to finish his career in Cincinnati. I don't know if Cincinnati is going to bring back A.J. Green. I don't know what's going to exactly happen with A.J. Green in Cincinnati. But I know that if they bring, if the Patriots were to trade for A.J. Green, that would be even better. Because now what happens is A.J. Green has a chance to really, and even if it's a one-year deal, which the Patriots love those veteran guys that are just coming out to prove something. They're trying to win ball games. So you go get A.J. Green on one side, and then you have Nikhil Harry on the other side. Now the question is, what does Cincinnati let him go for? I think Cincinnati would allow him to go because it seems like Joe Burrow and Tyler Boyd are really clicking. And then you still got Autumn Tate there, and then you also got T. Higgins, who they took in the draft. So you don't necessarily need A.J. Green. It's more of a want at this point. But if the price is right, would the Cincinnati Bengals let him go? And if, if it's not too rich, would the Patriots go out and go get him? Because I think A.J. Green with the New England Patriots would be a perfect fit, in my personal opinion. So those are two receivers that I could possibly see being on the move with teams still trying to find their find their roster and at least right now trying to go with less unknown and more known so a guy like aj green we know what he's worth and we know what he can possibly do when he's healthy he's been banged up the last couple of seasons i give you that but if he comes out and he plays like old aj green then you can get a steal you know for a second or third round pick probably a third round pick because you know like hey he's banged up like you can justify a third round pick both ways and then same thing for D.D. Westbrook. We know that he could possibly be a solid receiver when he's on the right situation. So those are two guys that I'm possibly looking at being on the move. And with the Patriots like going to new and they got a little bit of unknown on their roster. They know more than we do, obviously. But a guy like A.J. Green or a guy like D.D. Westbrook in a New England uniform would be really interesting in my personal opinion. And I would like to see that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is that reaching too much? Is the Patriots comfortable where they at? If you're a Patriots fan, let me know what you think as well. Because maybe you know a little bit more than I do. Like I said, I did a little bit of research. But if they if they have something on their roster or if there's a guy that I overlooked that could possibly become that guy, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because I really want to hear from you guys. And if you're not a footballologist yet, go and subscribe to the YouTube channel today. Become a footballologist. And stay safe, football fans.